So this string goes into a bar, and the bartender says, Hey, string, get the hell out of here. We don't serve strings in here. So the string goes outside, ties himself up, spikes up his hair, and goes back into the bar. The bartender says, Hey, ain't you the string I kicked out of here just a minute ago? And the string says, I'm afraid not. <laughs> it's, a, it's a joke. So who are you if you don't work here? You don't recognize me? Should I? personal hell is spending eternity with the most evil man who ever lived. Hmm. That was a long time ago, okay? I've learned some things here, <laughs> and you will too. And if this is your personal hell, what is it for me? <laughs> it's got to mean something. Well, of course it does, but who are we to try to understand it? <laughs> you really have a hard-on for yourself, don't you? I don't understand. What is hard-on? Hard-on, hard-on. Like you like yourself so much, you give yourself an erection. That's disgusting. <laughs> With all of this, who will we to understand crap? Give me a break. You sure don't know much for a guy who's, who's been all around and here you are parking your ass for a century and you don't know anything about the place. I'm sorry. It's just that this is all... I've never been dead before. <laughs> no apologies necessary. You will come to make peace with it. Are there other people here? Oh, yes, many, many people. Anybody I know? Of course. In fact, all your predecessors are here. My ancestors? Your predecessors. You were president of the United States, were you not? Yes. The great and powerful United States. Yeah, well, they are all here. <laughs> See, as far as I can be able to ascertain, we all here have one thing in common. What's that? They are masters of war. Masters of war? Yeah, men who march other men into battle 
fight and die for their own personal belief in what is right. I was the leader of a democracy. I wasn't, I was executing the will of the people. So this is hell. What's your conscience say? I was protecting my people. I wasn't marching them off to gas chambers. Did you ever consider for one moment that taking the life of another man, any man, regardless of motive, might be unacceptable to God? Is it God? Uh, are there women here? A few. It doesn't matter, though, because you will find that you have no desire to consort with them, sexually. Oh, this keeps getting better and better. Actually, it's better liberating. So what do you do all day around here? Yep. In the mornings, I play squash. And uh, <laughs> usually, in, I go down to the pool in the afternoon for a swim. But Napoleon was there today. <laughs> oh, <I'm> insufferable. <laughs> So Napoleon's getting an orgy together. And he says to his wife, honey, there's three groups in this orgy. We can be in the same group, or we can be in different groups. So you want to bone together or bone apart? <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> what kind of cake is this, anyway? Chocolate. You want some? It's quite good. I can't eat chocolate. You're dead. <laughs> I can eat chocolate when I'm dead? I don't. You seem to know everything else. We're having a conversation. The objective is to tell each other things that we know. So, what do you know? Is there alcohol here? Oh my, yes. Are there hangovers? Like you wouldn't be. Let me get this straight. There's women, but no sex. Alcohol, but incredible hangovers. The world's worst mass murderers, but it's not hell. What is this place? Did you ever consider that your tiny little brain cannot possibly understand the infinite complexities of life, of time, of the universe? These things are evident. We know they exist, yet they are impossible to conceive of. And these are just the phenomena we can observe. You know, back on Earth, people think you're a real asshole. <laughs> yeah, I'm aware of my reputation. <laughs> what are you thinking? Pretty ridiculous, huh? A little overkill. Literally. Well, I gotta head back down to the pool. Make yourself at home. There's more cake in the fridge. I sure hope Bonaparte's not still there. <laughs>